hey all this project's taking a little bit longer than we thought we've had a couple additions we're installing a handrail along the top of the retainer wall we're also installing a deck in between the upper retainer wall and the lower seawall so i'm gonna go ahead and show you what we got done on this and hopefully get it all wrapped up next week and i'll give you completed progress pictures from the start of what it looked like to what it looks like at the end y'all thanks for uh, subscribing to the channel and i appreciate you watching it <laughs> They're pretty heavy. They're pretty heavy. That sand on them. The tieback pilings on this wall are eight inch by eight and ten foot long. We want to go ahead and go with some larger pilings to really give some good support to this wall. The front face of this wall is eight foot exposed. Tieback rods are five eighths by twelve foot long. The tieback pilings are being vibrated in the ground. This will give you a real good, tight, secure support for the front of the seawall. We like to install a triple two by eight by two foot long drag plate on some of our taller walls. This gives the piling a lot more resistance of being pulled through the ground with the weight of the dirt on the retainer walls. Got all the vinyl sheet pilings in. Got the deadman installed or tie back system. Got a lot of the backfill installed already. Now we're going to go ahead and get the excess parts of the pilings cut off, and the uh, long ones will cut those to 40 inches for a handrail. All right, we got a return wall installed on the uh, neighbor's property over here. We ran a uh, 16 foot return wall back to prevent any erosion in case the wall next door fails. But we had some uh, block walls that we had to get out of the way because when we excavate this area, they all start coming down. So we're trying to get the neighbor's wall put back together properly so don't have any uh, issues on the side since we came in and put a new wall in. Got the upper
retainer wall installed. Now we're installing the uh, rails for the uh, top handrail. Are you doing a YouTube channel? Oh yeah. Once we get the handrails installed on the top elevation there, we're going to go ahead and get started on the lower deck. We've got a 10 foot wide deck that's going to go in between the retainer wall and the uh, lower seawall. We joined our wall to the neighbor's wall, which was a little bit of an effort, and the fence they had was in bad shape. So we decided to go ahead and get some new material and get it rebuilt. Try to leave it better than we found it. I hope that up. One, two, three. We're installing the back whaler on the uh, seawall here. This gives an area for the top cap to be screwed down to. Also additional strength from the whaler system. for watching this video of the uh, construction of this seawall and retainer wall you can see we really appreciate the work that we do i love the design aspect of it if y'all would hit the subscribe button hit the like button if you got any comments or questions on what we're doing you don't quite understand it leave me a comment and i'll get back with you and if y'all would like and share thanks